Hey my people, my name is Moa, welcoming you to another episode of Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. So, in the last episode, we started off on the first cowpo and we got down over to here and we fell down, like, over there. Um, that spot over there and that brought us down. Oh, okay, we, we just fell down again, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> so... Uh, we ended up down here, I guess, this is a good... And we went over to that soul, and that soul brought us back to the entrance of the Kalpa. So here, we're going to be going over here. And Jesus fucking Christ, the controller's going nuts. Um, Nydia, everyone. Oh, hi. Who are you? Hi. Hey, are you having difficulties? Yeah, man. I thought so. Same here. If you give me some maca, I'll tell you what I know. How about it? How much maca? Dude. Bitch, next time you're on the floor above, pay attention to the ceiling. Actually, that's extremely useful advice. But that that that's advice that cost me two thousand maca, which I don't want. <laughs> oh well. Um. So I guess we're just gonna be walking across the floor again. Ow. 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 You know what? Actually, what the fuck am I? I just. Why don't I? <laughs> of course, the the simplest solution every single time, right? All right, so let's do that. Get everyone healed up one more time. So over here, so over here is another door. Yes, it is. Okay, more barriers. Um. So okay, what was I doing? Fuck. Uh, I have Astoma up. What the fuck is going on here? No, seriously. Yeah, it's already in effect. I shouldn't have gotten into, like, two battles in a row right there. Or whatever. Um, so yeah, I do have Estoma up. Where? Hold on a second. Okay, that's a ladder up. Okay. You know what I don't put Estoma up for? I don't put Estoma up to get into more battles. That's what, um, that fucking other one's for. Don't don't do this to me, game. Do not do this to me. It's not okay. I swear. All right, so here's another ladder. All right, where's this ladder lead? Go ahead and just you know check on this ladder. Might as well, right? This ladder leads to here, which leads oh to this part. Okay. So this is like way the fuck over here. This is on the like the other side. So. I don't understand what the fuck the point of this is. Um. Oh shit! I get it. Okay, this makes sense. So don't go that way. Go this way, this way, and this way. So this door is not blocked off anymore because we can do that. And this leads to treasure. And this room is full of lit ceiling. If you see the tiles on the ceiling, they're all lit. Because uh, that's going to be useful for other things. So what is this? Yeah, I'll open the cache AQ. Death stone. Oh. Yo, a death stone? Nice. Yeah, I'll activate the switch. What does that do? Did that open up all the all these door places? Or does it What does it do? What is it doing? Uh Oh, it opens up this place. Okay. That's pretty fair. Okay, so it's full moon now. We can open up the uh, mystical chest. I actually had to do uh, two revolutions or two uh, two cycles of the Kagasuhi because um I fucked up and <laughs> I missed my full moon chance. So luck incense, throw it on him. Always useful. Um, so what's my stats at now? Six. So I have what? One, two, three, four. Four luck. Okay, cool. So I have six, six luck right now. Um, I'm gonna up that to uh, five, eventually. Um, and now that that's done, there was a switch there. There's stuff over there. Pretty sure there's shit downstairs too, but I don't quite. What the fuck? Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. 
Um, but this is good. This is good. This will give me a good uh, opportunity to take a look and see what uh, the fuck is going on here. Lift Toma. Alright, so... So which part of this area is... Has treasure chests in it? Because I think it's, um... I think... It's this part right here. So this part right here, which is where? Alright, so it's right... And then, okay. Got it. Alright, so I got it. I'm just trying to figure out and make sure I know where exactly I'm going right now. So we're gonna go over to this side. Because I want to get all the treasure chests that I can. And is this on a new Kagasuhi or is this on the old one? Because that's a mystical treasure chest, so I want to make sure I get it on the full moon. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, there is that item that I got. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Um, is it not in here? Is it in the SP items? Yes, the Death Stone. So the Death Stone is a stone that allows you to fuse fiends, I believe. So uh, the fiends that we've defeated so far, uh, Matador, Hellrider, uh, the Monk Motherfucker, uh, we would be able to fuse them with the Death Stone. So that's awesome. So we want to go where? over there. Okay, so let's find... Gonna go over here. How are we gonna do this? This one, right? It'd be no. Which one would it be? It'd be this one, right? I pretty sure it would be this one. Yes, I think this is correct. Maybe I might have fucked. No, I fucked up. Okay. So, to get over there, yeah, we have to get over there somehow. Hmm. It's probably. Oh, you know what? I bet I know a way. I bet I know a way. So, let me um go down real quick. So, which areas we want to go? down to that one so in order to do that we need to get uh we need to skip over to this one i think or no wait no i've been down that one haven't i doesn't that just lead me into the uh thing let's try it Oh, no, no, it doesn't. It leads us into into here. What the... Wait, what the fuck? You real? Oh, shit. Awesome. Okay, this is good. So, alright, now I just gotta wait for a full moon, but first... Okay, so here's the full moon. Chakra pot. Ooh, chakra pot's really good. Always really good. So, let's head on over to here, and let's see what's up here. This place is super interesting. Again, like I was saying last episode, this place is very different in design from a lot of the other uh, places in this game because it's so open-ended. Like, this is such an open space. So... What do we want to do here? Oh, you know what that leads to, I bet? Yeah, I know what that exactly that leads to. Okay. So next, we want to go to where? These, this map doesn't make any sense when it comes to um, uh, designing. Oh, careful. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> this map doesn't make any sense when it comes to, like, actually... um. Making it easy for you to navigate different floors using the map, but it is what it is, so. You know what I could do, actually? Hold on. I got a really good idea. This is, um, a bit unorthodox. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead and recover me as much as you want. I actually check and see how much that takes, too. So... We're back in the lab. Okay, that takes two twenty-five hundred maca. All right, that's a lot of maca. 
So now we can go ahead and, uh, oh, let's save, actually. I'm gonna go save real quick before I continue onward. I'm assuming at the bottom of the first Kalpa we'll find, um, something interesting, to say the least. Um, so that's where we started this episode. Let's go ahead and, uh, save over this file. Awesome. So, yeah, as I was saying, this place is really open-ended compared to the rest of the game. A lot of the game is mostly just, like, linear, um, follow-the-path dungeon style, which is fine. I have no issues with that at all. It's just, um, this place is, is so different. It's interesting to actually walk around and, 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 you know, figure this kind of shit out. Down the shaft we go. Getting maca everywhere we roll. So stay straight. You get that one. You get this one. Oh, shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Bunch of maca. Ooh, ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh, bitch. Oh, there we go. We got it. Oh, shit. I missed it. Oh, I missed that one, too. I'm not missing this one, though. Hell yes. Not that. Oh, I missed some of that one. That's okay. Alright, after this, this should be the end of the tunnel. Yep. And we should have actually gotten to quite a bit of maca. Yeah, 105 maca. Heck yes. Good stuff. So now we're back in the first Kalpa. Now, yeah, we just go to the center and drop down there. And we should be good to go. Hopefully I can make it before Estelma wears off. Oh, shit. We're cutting it close. Cutting it close, boys. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Can we, can we get there before we fight an enemy? Yes, we can. Finally, descending down here. I'm going to put Estelma back up. <laughs> because, honestly speaking, these enemies, um, while they're not like awful for experience, it's not really worth my time to fight them because it wastes too many resources. So what's this? Oh shit, here we go. We made it to wherever this place is. There is a peephole. Will you look through? Yes. I guess we're getting more, um, more dialogue from the lady in black herself. This is gonna be cool stuff. I think. Hopefully. Hey, hey, hey. I am back. I like the squeaking it makes when it's rolling up the curtains. I think this is a really neat, you know, little effect. I see that you have braved the labyrinth of Amala and returned the candle brum. I am confident that you will re recover the remaining candle bra too. You must be cautious though. The fiends that stole the candle bra are unique and powerful demons. Now that I think about it, this all started because of one man who caused the conception in the previous world. The conception, because of it, the vortex world was born. Kagatsuchi, the source of light and power for this world. You, who once lived as a human, must be wandering this world without any understanding. To show you my appreciation for returning the candle rum, I'd like to share with you my knowledge on the vortex world and the Kagatsuchi. Excellent. This is good. This is good backstory. Kakasuchi. It is the light whose sole purpose is to empower the one who will oversee creation. Creation is the act of bringing a new world into existence made possible by the annihilation of the old world. Kakasuchi will allow a life form of its choosing to determine the course of the new world. There must be those in Tokyo who yearn to be chosen by the Kakatsuchi in order to realize their vision. The shape of the world to come depends on who is chosen and what their reason is and if we have no reason I wonder in the vast Amala universe this vortex world is not only the is not the only place where creation occurs Kakasushi rises matures and falls in countless other places so the Amala universe is like a multiverse essentially 
So when those lights are going out, I'm assuming new universes are being created, and when they're being brought back, there are millions, no billions of worlds that you are unaware of, and they all experience the cycle of death and rebirth. That is the way of Amala, as is determined by the Great Will. With my master, I have watched how myriads of worlds came into being, how life prospered in those worlds, and how they were destroyed in the end. All that time seeking the answer to the unanswerable question, why is a world reborn? Maybe for stagnation? Who knows? Who knows? But it sucks. It gives life. Doesn't It takes the freedom away from life. But now... We may be on the verge of finding the answer. And is your actions which hold the key? Are they now? Please retrieve the remaining candlebra as soon as possible, and then come see my master. My master has high hopes for you. The fallen angel has bestowed upon you great strength. Do not lose your life and let this gift be in vain. The fallen angel? Lucifer? Yo, I'm not working for Lucifer. Bruh. Bruh. Hype. That's actually- Oh yeah, I am, that's right. I remember- You become Lucifer's general in the true demon ending. That's- I remember now. Oh fuck, this is gonna be awesome. I already know this is gonna be great. For those that are wondering, yes, I do know what ending I'm going for. I'm going for the true ending, the true demon ending. And I do know what happens in that ending. But pretty much, like, from the beginning of the game, from, like, Thornius to the true ending to, to the two to the actual ending like the actual credit sequence i don't know anything in between of this game at all that's why this game is blind all right so what's down here the shaft leading downward jump in hell yeah let's do it hopefully there's a terminal that would be nice but i'm guessing these uh get longer and longer as we go down Oh shit, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of money. Whoa, fuck. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh shit, it's not worth it. This is not worth it though. Oh shit. Whoa, bro, chill the fuck out. Oh my god, this thing is crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, calm your ass down. Did they expect me to be this good at this shit? God damn, chill. Chill game. Chill a little bit. Yo, 218 Maka, I'll take it. Wasn't expecting that. So what is this, the second Kalpa? Yeah, there we go. I don't know if I want to do the second Kalpa yet. Maybe after the next area. I think I'm going to start doing like kind of an every other kind of thing. I'll catch up to it eventually and then also give me voice rings out of nowhere. Fiend, accomplice to the fallen angel. Do you know what the cause, what cause you serve? Do you realize which path your actions are leading you down? I have watched your every move from above. You have been seduced by darkness, and now you're about to defy God's will. Moa, the one with a demon's body and a human heart, heed my warning. End your dealings with the fallen angel before your heart is consumed by darkness. Fuck you. I do what I want. Woe unto you, for you can no longer discern good from evil. In this land where demons of chaos dwell, the last of hum humanity will eventually be lost. I pray that you return to your world and rid yourself of darkness before it's too late. Before God's vengeance strikes this cursed land. The voice can no longer be heard. Hmm. Well, if I'm defying God's will, I guess that means that uh, God's going to have a hell of a dude to deal with. There's a huge pedestal. Will you light the candle burn of dignity? Fuck yeah, let's do it. You lit the candle burn of dignity. Will you light the candle burn of eternity? Oh shit, so... Okay, so in the different kalpas we light multiple... Um... Candle brums. All of the candle burn have been lit. Interesting. Ooh. So... It's about to get real. I wonder if, um. Return to the previous cop, but no. I mean, I, I kind of do, honestly speaking. 
But I don't know what's in store for me here. Uh, what's this? Oh, thank you, Christ. Awesome. Okay, so please tell me this is like a quick access tunnel. That would be nice. Oh, we're going to do the falling thing again. Okay. Oh, we're falling up this time. That's a little weird. But okay, I'll take it. Oh, fuck. oh no, no, no. I ain't falling for that shit again. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see you there. I see all the money in the world. Move. Fuck, what is that? What is that? What is that? What was that? Ow. That's bad. That was a bad decision. Oh, shit. Make up for all the lost time. There we go. Good stuff. I'm gonna start cutting that out eventually, but that's kind of fun, in all, in all honesty. I wonder what that blue light was, though. So let me see here. Ah, excellent. We've opened the second door. Alright, so we can go save. And, uh, enjoy ourselves, I suppose. Oh, man. That was nuts. <laughs> So that's all that was a lot of um background information so we now know we're serving lucifer um i'm assuming that's the lady in black or the old man i'm assuming it's the old man because lucifer is you know generally considered a dude um or is a, is a male figure a, or a male like figure i guess is the best way to describe it so we're serving lucifer that's pretty cool but um do i want to do the second cup I'll tell you what, I'll decide that next time on Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. My name has been Moa. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Peace out and stay solid, guys.